how are you? This is Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Exciting day today. So I'm going to show you what I got because today, of course, is Monday. Forget about all that total eclipse stuff. <laughs> I'll talk a few minutes after I do this, but I want to show you guys what I got. Went to Savers today. I spent like, I don't know, like 60 some dollars? 60 something? Ooh, 73. <laughs> it's always worse than you think it is. Look at that. Crazy. So I got some shirts, got some fabric, got some decor items, uh, got a couple kits, uh, got a toy for my dog, <laughs> and what else? I got the most uh, adorable, adorable hat for an infant that you will never have seen coming. <laughs> so it is now after 9 o'clock at night, so it has been... A crazy eventful day I have a little bit of a headache going on but we're gonna we're gonna push forward I'm gonna show you all the wonderful things I bought today oh, and then we'll talk then if you if if you're around for the yip yapping then then you're you're in luck <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the clothes I got first I am going to put my my very adorable purple reading glasses on because I can't read these sizes and I don't know. Hello. <laughs> so if any of you are interested are interested in any of these shirts, you can either message me. Oh, get me messing with my... I, I still have very oily skin for my age, so my, my bangs start looking really sad by the end of the night. So you know what? You're just going to have to deal with it. You're just going to have to deal with it. So, uh, whew. goodness, okay. So let me show you the shirts first. I want to put my glasses on so I can show you. Like I said, if you're interested in any of the shirts, you can uh, send me an email uh, in the in the description box down below. If I some reason don't get back to you, that sadly means that the item has already gone out to where I'm going to sell it. It's either been listed or put in my booth, and uh, or it's already sold. These these videos are about a week behind, so you know if something sells really fast. I can't do much. If it's eBay, I can tell you, hey, it's been listed. Go on there and send me a message through eBay, and then I will send you an offer. I am also going to be, uh, let me tell you, I think the last full week of this month, which is April, I am going to be putting my store on sale. So if you're interested in looking or finding something or shopping around, then you can have at it then. Or if you see something between now and the video comes out, and before the sale, if you see something, you can send me a message and I'll send you an offer. And if you don't want the offer, if you say, eh, that's still too much, that's fine. I still love you. <laughs> so, clothes I got today. This is 100% linen, uh, Cynthia Rowley. It is a size 3X. It's so pretty. I love shirts that, uh, that are more substantial than like just a knit t-shirt, but they don't have a collar. I just... The older I get, I'm like, I just can't handle things around my neck. It makes me crazy. So this shirt was, uh, I'm just going to tell you the half price. It was on sale half price. It was $4.40. But here's what it looks like. It's got this real pretty tropical kind of look going for it. And you can even wear this like open with a tank, you know, underneath it. It has the uh, three-quarter sleeves that have the little... Uh, I don't know if you un if you unrolled this, it would probably be a long sleeve, but it's the button in the front. Here's what the back looks like. So yeah, so the measurements that I do for my shirts when I list them is armpit to armpit across the front, so you double that for around, and from neckline to hemline, because sometimes you just don't know a brand, or you're like, I think that might fit me, but maybe not. I should look at the size. And then measure a shirt that you have, and then you can compare. A lot of people know the brand, and they're like, oh, I know what size I wear in that brand. So usually that's not a problem. Um, this one is a Catherine's. It is a 5X. It was $3.29, so it was $1.50.65. Not too bad. So it's kind of like this, I don't know, you could say it's a geometric. Uh, it is stretchy, short sleeve. And there's what it looks like. I think it's a, is that a round neck or a very slight V-neck? So there's that one. I did find a couple other Catherines, but they just, when you feel the back, 
along the back where it would hit where your hips are. You know, getting in and out of the car or sitting down and all that, it gets kind of pilled. So I usually won't buy those because I don't want to sell anything that isn't in the best condition for used as it can be. So this one is a Catherine's Black Label. Ooh. I am looking in the, they've mixed the t-shirts and the uh, tank tops together. So I'm kind of buying more tanks than I normally do. So this one was $3.49, so $1.50, $60, uh, $75. Here's what it looks like. So this is a tank top, a v-neck. Um, pretty long, it's got a hanky hem, as you can see. And it's got these real pretty, like, purple and kind of gray colors in it. Isn't that pretty? And then it has this extra little detail on there. So there's that. What size did I say it was? It is a 5X. I don't think I said. I don't usually buy many uh, just my size unless it's something a little bit nicer or it looks especially new or it is over a 3X. Those are kind of my okay, I'll buy uh, Just My Size or Terra and Sky, which is a Walmart brand. Both of these are Walmart brands. So, you know, it's one of those that, you know, do you ever buy or sell that? Well, sometimes or under certain reasons. So this one looks brand new to me. It is a Just My Size. It was $5.99, so it was three. It is a 5X, and it's this brown color. Short or even cap sleeves, I would call those v-neck and then it has i don't know what is this like flowers and then these the little shiny sparklies on there so yeah i mean it looks very nice that the colors are very crisp so that way you can tell it's pretty new um this one is a daisy fuentes do you know who she's married to if you're my age or around my age you'll appreciate knowing this she's married to richard marks now wait you're going to look it up and they've divorced. <laughs> I hope they're not divorced. Uh, I could ask Alexa, but I won't. So, Daisy Fuentes. Usually I see her stuff in like an extra large or an extra extra large. I've never seen it in 3X, which is what this one is. $3.99, so it was $2. A very pretty, uh, like an abstract floral print. Uh, cap sleeves. They're stretchy, but they're not like gathered, I don't think. The whole shirt is kind of stretchy, and then it has just kind of a straight bottom. But it has this uh, tie in the front that's just for show. So if, you know, you put it on and you want to cinch up the neckline on there, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so there's that one. Ooh, it's been so warm this evening, too, you know? It goes from freezing to, okay, now it's summer, and spring is like, hey, wait, I didn't get my turn. <clears throat> so we have Catherine's. This is a 5X, $4.99, so it's $2.50. And here's what it looks like. So it's this real pretty blue color, has this embroidered yoke v-neck, short sleeve, and pretty long. Most of the Catherine's tops are kind of long, I would say. You know, they're usually uh, almost like a tunic length, like a 32, which is pretty long. <clears throat> there's this one was $2.99 and it's a Catherine so I'm thrilled to death that Catherine's are cheaper Avenue is still outrageously high even a little higher than Torrid now that's saying something so $2.99 so I paid $1.50 this is a 3x and somebody told me it's a butterfly butterfly shirt but oh that one's so cute I like it. it's very pretty and it's got this I don't know, like an orangey and like a coral color. It's got the tie in the front, three-quarter sleeves. There's what it looks like. So somebody's going to love that. That's such a good price. I don't know. Some of the clothes can be very expensive, and then you hit these gems once in a while, and you're like, then you're like really looking it over, like, is there something wrong with it? Is <laughs> so this one, again, <clears throat> excuse me, is a Catherine's. This is a 3X. Their sizes run a little bit large in my opinion, $2.99, so I paid $1.50. This is an easy fit tea collection. So there's what that one looks like. So it's got like a, I don't know, is that a tan or a pink? More like a tan. It looks like static on an old TV. <laughs> Do kids these days even know what's, I'm sorry if that, if that keeps going on and off. It's my monitor. It's going blue. Now it's gonna go back to white, maybe. 
anyway so yeah it looks like static <laughs> so it's pretty long <clears throat> three-quarter sleeves that's what it looks like and then this one this is another one that I've seen before but the size was like I don't think I've ever seen it that large of a size is uh, Simply Vera, which is Vera Wang, who is a designer. This is a 3X. It was $7.99, so I paid four. And here's what that looks like. It is a long sleeve shirt, V-neck, pretty stretchy. Again, very pretty with the purple flowers. But I'm not going to keep any more long or three-quarter sleeves. Y'all are so bad for me. <laughs> Last week it was like, keep both shirts, keep both shirts. You should keep those shirts. Like, you guys, my, my closet's starting to get bulged out again. You guys are encouraging me too much. So there's what that one looks like. Again, I, I wasn't even sure. <clears throat> this one, if it wasn't for the price, I might not have got it. It is a torrid. It is a size 3, uh, you know, vanity sizes. $5.79, so it was $2.50, $2.90. So this is... I guess it's sleeveless. It's kind of a tank. It goes really high on your neck there. And then there's what it looks like. It's got this little opening here. And then the the uh, iron on here, it's kind of like not stiff, but it's loud. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like the quality that you usually get from them. Not that their quality is, I mean, should bring the prices that it does, but that's a whole nother story. I tell you what I am getting tired of seeing is all the garbage from Sheen and all these other places. The stuff that it's it's 100% polyester. If you set it on fire, it wouldn't burn. It would melt. You'd probably sweat no matter what time of the year you wear it. And it's just, it, I'm tired of looking at it. <laughs> I had a discussion with another customer about that. Again, this is a Catherine's 3X. It was $2.99. This one looks new to me as well. Uh, so literally a dollar fifty. It's this blue T-shirt with uh, three-quarter sleeves, and then it has like this little metal detail on. It almost looks like sprinkles, but that's so pretty. And I mean, you can tell the colors and everything are just really nice. You know, it gets a little bit of a fuzzy kind of look almost when it's been washed several times. <clears throat> I know my, I think it was my son primarily, more so than my daughter, I taught them how to do their laundry at like 12 and 13, and they did their own laundry from then on out. So if it was, hey mom, I don't have any clean underwear, it was like, uh, that's your problem. <laughs> I know, that may sound terrible. My kids turned out wonderfully, so I did something right. But uh, it's funny because my son, he would just instead of like putting things away or oh I could maybe wear this once more or I think I washed those but now I don't know we'll wash them again and when I took them downstairs I took the vent out and I held up the fuzz and I said these are your clothes disintegrating don't wash them unless you have to <laughs> yeah I wonder if he remembers that the some of the things they tell me they're like oh we remember when you said this and my daughter's like oh yeah we remember and I'm like I never said that I'm trying to frame me now, funny enough, I picked these shirts up, and then when I was uh, getting ready to scan them when I went through the register, I'm like, these are the same shirt. <laughs> I don't know if the size is the same. These are, uh, one is a Catherine's 3X. The other one is a Catherine's also 3X. They were both 529, so I got both of them for 529. And it's this really pretty, like, royal blue t-shirt, stretchy. Three quarter sleeves, and it has this, uh, like this lacy part, and then the little, you know, fake buttons. Are they fake? Yes, they are fake buttons. So, yeah, I got that one, and then that one. So, I love me a uh, easy to list quantity two or more, makes it definitely easier. Um, I got one other larger item I'll show you on the floor. This one was $9.99. This was originally, however long ago, at Mark's. I always talk about that store, if you don't know. You're like, oh, yeah, the bags. So this was $3 at Mark's, and they get it, and they put $9 on it. So, yeah. But it's very pretty. And it is this white frame. And it feels like a, like a plastic or a resin, 
but it is so pretty and it would go like in a girl's room or even in a bathroom but I just thought that was pretty oh you can see yourself in my mirror <laughs> So yeah, uh, so I paid five dollars for it. I'm guessing uh, I put twelve bucks on it. Listen to me, it was three dollars and they marked it up. Well, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mark it up. Hey, that's the name of the game. So yeah, stuff. Uh, they have what they call in in marks. It's like a grocery store and then a little bit of like cleaning stuff and a lot of, but it's mostly a grocery store. And on one end they have they what they call a closeout area. So it's stuff that they buy in certain quantities or probably as much as they can get. They just price it low and then, and you know, push it out. So some stuff you'll find. And if I find something really nice, I'll hang on to it for a little while. Or if I see it and it's being resold at a thrift store, I'll buy it because it's been long enough that people don't know that's where it came from. You know what I mean? So, let me see where I'm at here. So, I I tell you, I, uh, these have slowed down in, in selling, but I can't stop buying them. So, this was $6.99, so I paid $3.50. Again, it is a wine cork cage with corks in it. Looks like a wine glass. So, I'll go through. I don't like synthetic wine corks. I, don't, I see a few in there, so I may just kind of clean that out a little. I got the Eiffel Tower. My son got to see the Eiffel Tower when he was at a very, very, very long layover uh, in Paris. Isn't that cool? So he sent me a picture of it. This is a little bit, look how dirty it is in there. So I'm going to have to give it a little scrubby dub dub because it's kind of fuzzy. But I thought this was nice. It's metal and it was only $2.50, originally $5. Eiffel Towers do well. Um, I had shown you the um, the Lady Liberty statue that I got, about that big. And then I had, um, what is it? The building King Kong was on. So even that one, that one sold right away. So any of these building ones, and if they're metal, they always do really well. And Paris, you know, everybody likes to decorate for Paris. So that should do well. Um, I picked this up, and of course this is going to be uh, put away until winter. It is this beautiful metal deer that has uh, room for five tea lights. He's very pretty. Usually you, you find any of these and, they, and they've been beat up <laughs> in some way. And this one was only uh, $5.49, so I paid $2.50, $2.75 for it. And again, something like this can probably go into my booth for probably 12 bucks, I would guess. So there's those. Did get a couple pieces of fabric. One of the fabrics is in two pieces. I think it's like two or three yards and then another two yards. Um, and that one is this one. I think this is, you could say that snowflakes on there. It looks black, but it is on a blue background. This one was $3.49, so half price of that. And again, I was getting this off in the hanger and I was like, okay, we got two pieces here. So, yeah. Anywho, this one is cute. It's probably not going to make me that much because it was $2.49. So I paid a dollar and a quarter. But it's got cherries on it. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so pretty. It looks like a Mary Engelbright. But it isn't. It is Fruit Basket is what it's called. So there's that. It's so pretty, isn't it? It sold a lot of fabric this past weekend. You know, it goes kind of slow, and then it sells, sells, sells. So I was in my booth straightening up the other day, <laughs> and a guy comes through, and she's like, ooh, fabric. And he goes, don't you have enough? You have enough fabric. And I was like, I hate when I go to a store, and I, especially a grocery store, and you see an old man and old woman, and they're pushing the cart, and you're like, oh, they're so cute. And then they walk by you, and she's going, you put that back. You don't need that. <laughs> And I almost want to say, he's he's got to be 105 years old. Let the man have some candy. Seriously. It's okay. I, I let him. He probably just tunes down his his uh, listening device and is like, just see the mouth going. <laughs> I just don't understand that. Uh, I picked this up mainly because it has a handful of fabric. And the way they're folded, I think they're mostly fat quarters. And then there's just yarn. So there's three skeins of that. So I don't think that is the... 
because I know there's some that is it, that goes through uh, what do you call it? Dollar Tree has it, but I don't think that's it. And these are larger ones anyway. I'm just gonna open this up and show you. So this was $4.99, so I paid $2.50. That's a pretty good handful there. If I get fat quarters that are measured and cut, and you know that's how they're being sold, like these, I'll put a dollar instead of 75 cents. So we have that one, and that one, and these are nice if you got a really small project, you know, the scale of them, they can be smaller. Ooh, that's pretty. That's like a batik. They're pretty. Uh, ooh, there's that one. That's kind of cool. That looks kind of 70s. Uh, ooh, there's that one. It's the same color scheme. So these might have been in different bundles and they just didn't use it. And then there's this blue. And then this yellow. It's kind of a tan. And then this one's kind of folded funny, so I don't know, but it's pink. And then there's that one. And, oh, that's cute. Look at the little birds. That's so sweet. There. This one's kind of like it, but it's got different birds on it. And then that one. And then the chevron. And then green. You know, my mother used to make Barbie clothes, and... After I became a mother, I realized how crazy that was that she could actually do that. And um, at, diff at the different craft stores, there used to be, they call it a bag of rags. And it was pieces that were, you know, they might have been irregular or they were cut at manufacturer. And back then, they didn't just throw them out. They actually sold them. And my mom would get those and some of the most beautiful fabric. And a few pieces were big enough where I was a kid, she could make a shirt out of it for me. Or she'd make a shirt out of it or a dress in the Barbie so I'd had matching. She was so awesome like that. Um, I did get two of these kits and I was standing there for a minute going, the kits aren't selling so great, but I don't know. But it's but it's $3.29, just get it. So a dollar fifty, a dollar sixty-five. There's this lighthouse one. And this is Candle wicking, points, sculpting. So it does have this padding. And then you see how it's got a little bit of this dimensional when you stitch it. And this one's sealed. I think there was one or two others, but they had been opened. And then this one is uh, balloons. And this is just candle wicking. But it, again, it has the, the puppy stuff in it. So, yeah, it's like a monochromatic. So there's that. Uh, what else? What else? I thought this was adorable. It says, love makes a house a home. Isn't that cute with the little different houses on it? And then, ooh, there's a big fuzzy on there. So that was $3.99, so I paid $2 for that. And this one's metal. I just thought that was adorable. Um, this is what I got for beans. It's an octopus, and he's this thick corduroy and then all of his legs are and then I think he's got a squeak yeah he does and I he looks so new to me I mean look how clean and nice he looks and he was 449 so he's smiling now <laughs> but he won't be smiling for long sadly um, I think we'll get down to just having the head after we rip off all the legs she like hangs on to them for a week or so and then she slowly starts dismantling them so we'll see how she likes that. She's in bed with Dad already. They already went to bed. So I can't give it to her. But she usually likes to come in here and like put her head down in the bag and sniff. But she would have grabbed that really quick. But I wanted to show it to you first. Um, I thought I might go ahead and sell this. It's very cool if you're a crafter or you do any kind of crafting projects. And this is new and still sealed. It's a little baby iron, and it was only $3.49, so less than $2 for crafting projects, travel, and quick touch-ups. Yeah, it's this pretty uh, pink color. So I thought that was pretty cool, so I looked that up and see what that goes for. Um, I got this bag of these natural fiber animals. I like the one mainly. I might have to fix them up a little because I think they might have gotten a little bit beat up. 
but it's this gray fox and he is adorable. Let's try not to bang him up. Here we go. So you'll know what I'm talking about. This natural fiber. Look at him with his his uh, his fall stuff on. Isn't he sweet? I thought he was adorable. So yeah, I'll probably put this out in my in my booth. I'll probably wait until fall. But I just thought he was adorable. I'll tell you how much I paid for the bag. But there's that one, and then we have this uh, raccoon or a trash panda. What he looks like and then we have another one and he's missing he's missing his pine cone look he's like where's my pine cone I don't know I'll have to go pick one up and glue it in there or I have some uh, some of the fakey acorns maybe I'll put one in there I think these are yeah they're different sizes I don't know but they're cute so yes and this bag was for I think I already told you $4.99 there is glitter on my desk and I don't know why and I don't like it oh uh, got one thing two things left and then I'll chitty chat with you so there's that this is for the wall to hang it up <laughs> I've been finding a lot of bikes recently this one's metal as you see it's got a couple places to hang it up a little basket on the front I just thought that was too adorable so that should do well. I've been selling, I mean, I have several, and I've sold a few, but I still have some. But I just thought that's too adorable. And that was only $6.99, so I paid $3.50. I was very happy with what I got today. It is glitter. Okay, give me a second here. I'm going to sweep this real quick, real quick. I know, you didn't sign up for this, but I hate glitter. I absolutely hate it. Okay, there, I'm using my little sweeper I got from Timu. I love that thing. Oh, I got two more things. So I think at one point this might have been a prop for people who take pictures of kids, but you're just gonna say, oh my gosh, that is the most adorable thing ever. It was $2.99, so it was $1.50. Look at this fedora. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh. So I'm sure this was probably for like a newborn prop. I'm sure to put this on and then maybe have like the tie and they're sleeping. And so I'm probably gonna list it as such. I don't really think it has a name brand on it. Um, no, spot clean, polyester, acrylic, and rayon. Yeah, so no, but it's like this really cool like tweed. Love it. Very cute. You know, you could even. If you had feathers, you could put a couple feathers over here in this little buckle. Oh, I thought that was cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh, so yeah, I will make sure I take lots of measurements so people are like, oh, that's a fedora. No, I don't need that. And I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. It's little. So I believe that's, oh, wait a minute, I got a bag. This was $2.79 and I paid half, of course. It's got a couple little chips, but I can color it in. This isn't something expensive or collectible, super crazy. We just have two carrot salt and pepper shakers. And we got a couple of little, a little dings, which I can fix, because these aren't old. Now, if it was something very old or valuable or collectible, I do not Sharpie anything. I don't do that. Either I buy it as is, sell it as is, or I just don't buy it at all. So... And that one, surprisingly, didn't have salt or pepper in it. So, I guess that's all that I got. So, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried to take some pictures with my phone holding up the, uh, the eclipse glasses. And I just couldn't get any decent pictures. But, um, it was, that was kind of sad. <laughs> But uh, we got over to the store. We didn't know. I mean, we were advertising. We were open. We're not usually open on Mondays, but today we were open. Um, and uh, I was just didn't know how many people were going to be there. We're going to have a lot of people in, you know, outside in the parking lot. Ended up being maybe 20% more people than there usually are in the parking lot with plenty and plenty and plenty of parking spaces. So we pulled up, I went in, I straightened up my booth. Uh, I made some more mystery bags because I almost was down to nothing. So I literally had to whip those up. I took them into the store, straightened up my booth from the weekend. I sold 11 
mystery bags this past weekend. So all the women's ones were gone and half of the men's ones were gone. It's, it's crazy how quick they're going, but I'm very happy. So I want to keep them going so they're always in fresh supply when people are up there. So I went in and I did that and then at about, I don't know, 2.30, it, it started, the eclipse started. And by the time it reached where it was a complete and total eclipse with just the ring, it was absolutely amazing. I've never, ever experienced even a partial one. And I was just, it was funny because <laughs> my husband, he's always been into like science fiction and loves sciencey stuff. So he was thoroughly enjoying himself. And, you know, it, it stayed completely covered for like four minutes. And it got so dark outside. It was just like, it was just the coolest thing coolest thing I've ever seen and I've seen so many pictures and oh this is what it's going to look like but you don't know until you see it and then it you know, after the four minutes then you had that bright flare of of the light even when it was completely covered you could see edge you know the edge to the moon that was actually it was you could see you know the the landscape of the moon so awesome and as soon as it was completely covered you could take your glasses off and just look at it and it was just I mean, I literally teared up and started crying, and my husband's like, yeah, what's the matter? <laughs> and I'm like, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> and the coolest thing, one of the things that made me cry is um, my son was at a hospital with his mother-in-law. Um, my daughter-in-law's mother was having a hip replacement, so he was up there. She was out of surgery and everything, but... He took a picture, Some, I think it was might have been his wife, took a picture of him standing with his glasses on. And I had already taken one of me and Mr. Pudgy Picker with us, you know, like, oh, looking. If I can figure it out, I'll put it on the thumb, thumbnail. But And then, so I sent me the one of me, and then my daughter sent one of her with her regular glasses up here. And she's like, you know, like making a funny face. And then we all took pictures of how dark it got. And it was like they were all there with me. It was so sweet. And I sent a message after it was all done. And I said, "I, you guys have no idea how much it meant that we could all be together. We could all this, do this together through messages. It was so awesome. So, you know, the picture of how dark it got outside the hospital, which isn't too far from where we live. And then us, because I took a picture, because we were, I was at my store, if I didn't mention that to you since we were open, and everybody came out in the parking lot and they were taking pictures of all of us. It was just so much fun. And then to send those pictures and have my kids, we were just like, here, 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 here. And then like dark, 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 dark. It was just so cool. And I, I just felt like I, like we shared that event together, even though they're adults and they're off doing their own thing. And it was just, see, I'm getting all teared up again, but whew, I'm such a marshmallow heart anymore. I tell you, you just... I, I hope that the older you get, the more you see things and you just, I mean, I tried to take a few pictures of, of, you know, when it was going on and I took my phone and I tossed it into the car on the seat and I said, I'm not taking any more pictures. I'm just going to stand here and enjoy this. And oh, I'm glad we didn't go anywhere else. The streets were fine. They ended up closing the freeway because people were pulling over. So it was closed for a little while. Um, downtown Cleveland, we just this past weekend had the, uh, the women's basketball, uh, champ, some kind of championship. So that was going on all weekend. Um, the Guardians, the Cleveland Guardians, which is our former Cleveland Indians baseball team. It was their home opener and there was just so much going on. And I saw pictures people were taking and putting them on Facebook of them charging 70 and $80 for you to park in a spot for any amount of time during this downtown, which is a crying shame, but that's a whole other story. But I'm like, no, it was great. We we were there, I was there with my friends, I was there with my husband, I was kind of there with my kids, and we enjoyed it, and then we got in the car and we drove home, and me and my husband were just like, I was just kept saying, wow because i kept saying to him you know how dark do you think it's gonna get and he's like oh it's pretty dark i'm like well, what about this night will it feel cooler <laughs> and he's like just wait <laughs> and it did it did feel cooler we had really good weather we had a little bit of you know real light clouds so that didn't really affect it 
But as soon as that hit and you saw that ring and you could take your glasses off and you could just look at it and it was so dark outside, it was like just before the sun goes down. So it was amazing. I'm so thankful that I saw it. Um, I'm, you know, there's people driving on the street. There's people flying through the parking lot, almost running over. Where we're all out there sitting and I'm thinking, don't you people know what's going on? And then the community uh, chat thing on Facebook I'm a member of was like, is it going to storm? Why did it get so dark? Like, people. <laughs> whatever, whatever. So I did read something um, that I am going to do because I saw it on Facebook and they said there's evidently one, um, another one in like Peru or something. And a lot of the kids and stuff and people down there can't afford to get the glasses to view it. So I think it's in August. So it had an address where you can send uh, your glasses. So if you used your glasses and send them, but I still have several handfuls from me selling them. So I'm going to get those gathered up and ship them. I think there's a place in Illinois. If, um, <clears throat> if I think about it, uh, hopefully, I will write that address down and I will put it in the description box. So if you are selling them or you have a big family or you have a whole handful of them and you just want to send them to a local state and then they're going to get them all together and ship them out so these people and kids can enjoy it, I'm like, I'd rather do that than throw them away. Absolutely. So I will be doing that soon. It was like, please mail by the first week of August. And I'm like, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it soon. And I have to go on Wednesday, so I'll gather all those up. And then I had another handful in the parking lot. And there's a fitness center right next to our store. So there's people coming out, and they're like, oh, yeah, that is today. And I'm like, here, do you need some classes? I was just handing them out. You know, so it was pretty cool. So I enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed me yapping about it, but it, it was a, an absolute great thing. I just absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it, and my daughter's, uh, my daughter-in-law's mother is doing well. They're going to keep her overnight, so she'll be going home tomorrow. Carrie, hi, Carrie. <laughs> so anyway, very awesome, great day. Whew, it was a lot. It was a lot today, but you know, you just got to stop and just soak stuff in when you can because you just don't know what tomorrow brings, you know? So I guess we'll end it on that note. Thank you for tuning in and listening to me gab for 37, almost 38 minutes. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Have you ever seen one? <clears throat> Did you catch any of it? We had a friend that was in Arizona. They got like 67% coverage. So he had called and we're talking and... So they said literally millions of people got to see some part of it and very, very much an absolute fun day. So thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time when I find some more good stuff. I'm going to get this stuff prepped and priced and ready to go. And I will see you guys next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.